Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today we are up to Season 8, Episode 4, Fake It Till You Make It. This season has been interesting so far, with a relatively low-key but very important first episode, and a somewhat divisive follow-up to the premiere that I loved. Hopefully the season can continue its quality with this episode written by Josh Hamilton, who brought us the phenomenal Parental Glidens, as well as Triple Threat and Secrets and Pies from Season 7. I don't know anything about this one, the title makes me think of Where the Apple Lies, some dishonest statement or claim snowballing into a huge ordeal. But unlike the mod couple, not much to go on, so let's dig in. Alright. Oh, Fluttershy's Oasis. Continuity. I like that black and white bird. The happy deer, the happy non-sentient deer. Don't worry, Angel. I won't forget you. Is this ranch, Fluttershy? There's nothing so peaceful as a cuddly friend's picnic. Fluttershy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, Rarity. What's the matter? Rarity, what an entrance. A better question would be, what isn't the matter? Oh, nice dear. rebuttal. Do you want to have some lettuce and talk about it? <laughs> Let us talk about it, oh, fashion I horse. I love to, darling, but I just don't have the time. The Cantalot Royal Fashion Show is practically upon us. And the cornerstone piece of my collection just isn't working. Royal That's fashion? Serious? Oh, it's serious. The this is life and death. Designed around it. Do you need help knitting? I've started making tea cozy. Yay. It's an elephant. <laughs> Yes, well, Wait, what? I don't need help making clothes. Sassy Saddles is pitching in. Plus, I'll be pulling all three of my main hat and assistants. All three? Fluttershy knows how to. You mean you'll have to close Rarity for you? So? That's just it, darling. This is Manhattan's busiest shopping season. And I can't just close the shop. Oh, my God. So I was hoping you might consider... Fluttershy gets to sell fashion. Of course. I'm happy to help. Though, I'm surprised you picked me. I mean, asked a few others. You can hold down the fort. We've got a Wonderbolt show. Really? Rainbow was the first one? Sorry, but it's pie season and the pie worms are piling up. Don't even. I've got a curriculum to make up. <laughs> to make up. Nope. Nope. <laughs> hey, nope. My calendar's packed, but wow. I got letter size free. They're all dates. Every one of those is a date. Uh, I want to see the CMC sell fashion. It doesn't matter who else I asked, because I couldn't be happier that you agreed to help. Fluttershy has some working knowledge of fashion from her time as a star in the papers. And she told off Rarity in Art of the Dress. Yeah, this new intro is pretty cool. I'm definitely glad they changed it. It just took a while. Could have worked with the song a little bit, but you know, you can't win them all. Spike is so happy to hold the shield up. They intentionally did not build a stand for it because they're like, we need Spike to do something. I think I forgot how big this shop was. How do you find anything? Also, couldn't you just hire a temp? The store is divided into sections. Chic, classic, modern, sophisticated, avant-garde, traditional, and obtuse. Someone who knows what they're doing, obtuse. My favorite fashion. And, of course, each section is divided by season, color, and price. It's a classic SCP system. A good containment protocol as well. A little fluff and fold. You owe me you dollars. Easy part. <gasps> Rarity, I don't have a horn. I can't tie that. As you well know, the real focus at Rarity for you is on the customer. It's in the title, actually. Um, okay. They're the second most important thing after Rarity. Hello. Um, welcome to Rarity for you. What can I help you with? I need something classic but modern. Something with drama but also understated. Great. Um, aren't all those things opposites? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no. they attract. But and I want to be attractive. Sorry. 
are you asking me how to do your job? No, but I just, um, if I may, I'm thinking noir-esque minimalist, but with a twist. You made that That's up. It's a tapered hem. It's a customer service episode. That's amazing. It's like you read my mind. Are you a fashion psychic? In a standoff. <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> oh my god. I hate this town. Wow, you make it look so easy. Oh darling, come now. You've conquered your shyness a thousand times over. A thousand and one. Fashion ponies undo all that progress. Well, I guess not. You simply must access your inner strength and allow it to shine through. It will be a shame to do all those episodes again. Uh, Daily affirmations? Meditation? Ooh, power posing works wonders whenever I feel intimidated. Try these! Yeah, give me some poses. Medalist! Yeah. Pony. I like that they're all two-legged. Mm, I call this not. one bondage. We need to leave now if we're going to catch the train to Canterlot. Hey, these three. Oh, goodness, look at the time! Yes, 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 go! The ones who were hired because they ran and knew more fashion than Rainbow Dash. In your workroom? But darling, I simply can't. The fashion show is in Canterlot tomorrow, and I'll be up all night, even with the help of all of my assistants. It's like a milestone demo Not for my, my projects. Smokey, soft pad, Smokey Jr. Oh, I like Smokey Jr. Ever since you convinced me to let them live in the shop, these beastie sweeties have been nothing but helpful. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll help me let my inner strength shine through. <laughs> All right, tone it down, Fluttershy. More help. Why not try a new outfit? You're not that special. Think of it as a costume for your role as shop pony. You know. All right. Clothes make the pony. I like those back leggings. Um, who says that? You know them. Them. They say. All right. I'm sure you and your furry friends will do just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's right. You and your furry friends. Whew, here goes nothing. I've heard that statement. I think. Welcome to Rarity for You. What I'm Rarity. Oh, wait, darn, I messed up already. What's the thread count of this shirt? I can't be seen in anything less than a thousand. It's just one thread all the way through. Count? Um, well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, one. I like the facial expressions here. Um, excuse me for just one second. Look, just give me about an hour. I'll have your answer. I'm afraid I don't know enough about fashion to satisfy these customers. What am I gonna do? I feel like she would know what thread count is based on her previous statements. Oh, I've never tried to act before, but I suppose it's worth a shot. Is it like singing? I can do that. Oh boy. Nice bun. <clears throat> also, I like your hair. Severe, Ooh. But not unapproachable. Acceptable business attire. All right, here's- Does that sound like a shop pony to you? What the title means. Oh, she's gonna pretend to know fashion. So sorry for the wait. The shop has some staffing issues today. Yes, there are literally Still raccoons. haven't had an answer on this thread count. Here at Rarity for You, our merchandise defies typical attempts to quantify its quality, but rest assured, oh. make you the envy of all who see it. Oh boy. In that case, I'll take three. It's all about the confidence. Oh, good job, actually. Ta -ta. How'd you do that? If I'm confident, I can tie a bow with hooves. <laughs> Smokey Jr. I can't believe it worked. Oh, Smokey Jr. I suppose clothes really do make the pony after all. It's an odd scene. Oh, no. She's gonna be trapped in her own character. I don't know about you, but I have a full day of shopping planned. And if even one shop pony isn't up to my standards, well, I shall make my displeasure quite plain. One star on Yelp. Are wicked. <laughs> can't look fashion. Are people just like that? Simply can't leave Fluttershy to fend for herself with these main headlights. Just waiting for the opportunity to complain. 
Rarity! Oh, darling, I'm afraid I can't stop. Potential emergency at the boutique. That was a dumb question. Well, whatever it is, I'm quite certain the pony you left in charge can handle it. Oh, she's simply divine. Oh, well, that guy should go. I always knew Fluttershy had it in her. <laughs> Look up some toupees. And there's still time to catch the train to Canterlot. Is she gonna keep, like, freaking out and miss the train? Play on the old standard. We call it a rarity cup with a triple cross stitch hem and a guacamole chevre pattern fabric. That's probably not right. <laughs> if I had meant chevron, then that's what I would have said. <laughs> of course. It's so unique. So in vogue. It must be mine. <laughs> I think this is how politicians get elected. Thanks, everyone, but I feel like I should push the snootiness further. Sure, yeah. Wait. If you really want to help, I suppose serving tea would be nice. Oh, if you don't mind. That's not a good idea, raccoons. Don't encourage her. Little trash mammals. I like my accessories bold and shiny, oh. and I'm just not seeing anything nearly bold and shiny enough. I was expecting a different voice, like... I like them bold and shiny. A model, uh, perhaps pointy. Yeah, pointy, pointy, like your horn. Yes, I must have pointy. <laughs> what? Hold on. Not every pony can pull off a found object, but <laughs> nearly get there. Wow, that's beautiful. That's amazing. How much did that cost? Perfect glitz and glamour gown. That's also casual, but like still artsy and a total head turner. Yes, casual chic prêt à porter is very branché this season. Yeah, I don't speak that language. I don't understand any of that. <laughs> so like, I don't care about it. <laughs> um, one moment. Ma'am, your clothes are showing too much. For gonna have to ask you to leave school for the day. I think I need a new character. Oh my god. It's like that SpongeBob episode where he pretends to be everyone else okay, and loses himself. This high key savage look for you. It's a totally live ensemble. Oh my god. Thingies that sparkle and make the whole squad go, <laughs> whoa, that pony is woke. I'm angry. It's like exactly what I need. I'm very displeased right now. This store is a desperate wasteland of nothingness. I feel like this Can pony at black. the moment. I am the opposite of woke. Can you, like, chill for one sec? BRB. <laughs> it's not like the futility oh, of thank you. can be made better with black leather and metal studs, but they help. <laughs> uh, that jacket completes me. I love this guy. Hey, it's the uh. She's like lukewarm. It's barely drinkable. Oh wow, nice. She must always be at a precise temperature. See that it doesn't happen again. The Madman Pony. Whoa, that color. Whoa. Is almost too lit for you. Too lit. Blackness. No. Is a reflection of your soul. Stop this. This hemline is nothing short of an inspiration of craft ponyship. Are you sure you deserve it? This episode hurts me. <laughs> the snooty disc, turn the snooty disc down. Two levels. Over here, slaves. Serve the hot chocolate. <gasps> I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Or that it's still cold. Either get it right or go back to the forest. Oh my god. Fluttershy. Uh, it is so hard to find good help these days. What have they done to you, girl? That tea was really hey, opaque, too. I'm doing my best. They really should be chastised. <laughs> Darling. Whoa, that's woke. Like, Chote du Dablage. She's busy at an important fashion show, and Fluttershy is running her shop in Manhattan, but to do it, she's playing different shop pony characters that are all mean? Spike's just reading the synopsis the off his hand. Out, Spike? I'm not Dragon Charade's champion for nothing. I can't imagine Fluttershy would ever be mean to her animal friends. This sounds serious. 
Spike, tell everyone it's time to head back to Saddle Row. <laughs> this sounds really bad. Red alert, Spike. I wouldn't think it was possible to make something so dowdy, even more matronly, but here you are. It's Is she like secretly in the void, empty and all crying and out to try to be fired here? I would seriously help you right now, but like, I don't wanna, you know? <laughs> I know how you feel. You are kidding. This is worse than we thought. She's being horrible to everybody. We don't kid, we're raccoons. Are you sure that's even Fluttershy? Maybe it's just three really, really fast ponies that really, really look like her. <laughs> Let's find out. It's like the Olsen hey, twins. Fluttershy? There's only one of them. the shop or performing in a one pony show. But she moves so if fast. Don't mind, I can only improve the taste of one customer at a time. You have to wait your turn. Ugh. Honestly, <laughs> these small town ponies come to the big city and think they can behave any way they please. Oh my god. You are a small town pony, and your cottage isn't even in the town. I've outgrown the town. Look, Fluttershy, we came here because we were worried and we care about you. Let's get out of this aura of positivity before it consumes us. This guy... Come on, he's he's a great pony. Game is? He should listen to the other fruit pony. Soft are really concerned. Yeah, they came all the way to Ponyville to get us. It took them like five days. They should have like stayed there. This shop is like a no rodent zone now. <gasps> she said the R word. Fluttershy, I understand why you think you have to act this way for these customers. This is this is a serious situation, guys. Goodness, you are so right. Please, step this way so that we may discuss your concerns. I knew you'd come to your senses. I'm Twilight Sparkle. Indeed. I don't know sarcasm, but I know friendship. Oh my god. How does this collapse? Piece of my collection, and it's still not right. I like sassy. Oh, darling, I'm afraid we've literally run out of time. It's up to you. That's not Fluttershy, right? Now, attitude. Look at this little knockoff Fluttershy here. Budget shy. I don't understand. When I left Fluttershy, she had everything well in half. Well, things might have seemed all right when you left, but they're definitely not all right now. She's acting worse than the worst Manhattan that I ever saw. She She's acting fancy. Yeah. She called Smokey, Smokey Jr. and Soft Pat rodents. <laughs> Protect the children. But why didn't you say that from the start? She obviously needs help. Come on. I'm gonna stick these pins in her. Your melancholy is way too shallow for a look with this much unfeeling depth. You poser. <sighs> You're like, Cutie Mark is such a special oh, snowflake, isn't it? style isn't even on the same page. Turn away. Don't even look at it, okay? Okay. I can't even. <laughs> like, oh, oh. I think not, dear. This is all too fashion forward for the likes of you. <laughs> Do the customers not notice the pony ducking in and out of the shop back door? <sighs> Told you it was bad. And popping out in different costumes. This is worse than I could have possibly imagined. Rarity, I'm so glad you're here. Finally. Yeah, all right. I like this one. The couture in this shop is far too brilliant to even consider selling. What? <laughs> you like totally get how lame customers are. <laughs> I do, I do. Watching them leave filled me with a sweet sadness. You know, I'm turning around on this one. But I've taken care of your rodent situation. Oh, oh man. You had me going for a while. Stop saying that! <laughs> That's it! It really peeves me off. I'm afraid you've left me no choice. You are terminated! You are terminated. Good luck replacing me! <laughs> well, thankfully I... <laughs> <laughs> I always thought she was too controlling. That's funny. Y you are terminated too! <laughs> Judgment day! Now I- <laughs> I know, right? I mean, uh, um... <laughs> like OMG. You're like, totally terminated as well! Like- Terminated 3, Rise of the- uh. I'm glad that's over! <laughs> I guess 
guess I owe every pony an apology. We need to have a salvation of this moment. I nailed it. I'm trying to please all of your customers. What customers? I might have taken my sales pony characters a little too far. Really? I'm oh God! Sorry if I hurt your feelings, you know I was only pretending. You just killed Smokey. Oh God, he's a zombie. But Fluttershy, why did you think you needed to be some pony else to run the shop? Zombie rodent. Yes, acting like the ponies of Saddle Row gave me the confidence to interact with them. Darling, I'd never trust some horrible Saddle Row pony to run my shop. That's why I wanted sure. a friend to do it. Except for the... I'd definitely rather be myself anyway. Three... Even if I don't exactly have what it takes to be a shop pony. Saddle row ponies that you yourself, sure. hired. Those sales pony characters all came from you. Yeah! I think you totally have what it takes. You would rock at D&D! Indeed. You have all the inner strength you need, but I think we prefer it coming from our sweet, regular Fluttershy. Inner strength. <laughs> That's just given me the inspiration I'm looking for! I call this one regular Fluttershy. This one? There! It's just a bodysuit. For my new collection, the warrior of inner strength. Wonder Woman. I killed a white dragon to find these scales. Oh, it's lovely, Rarity. I'm just sorry you had to leave the Canterlot Royal Fashion Show early. How much? Oh, no, darling. Making the perfect dress is scads more satisfying than showing it off. Chemicals are needed for that back of the hair there. Ooh, striking dress, Rarity. I certainly hope you aren't trying to undercut the Royal Fashion Show by ducking out and debuting it here. Look, I am fashion. Who considered the possibility that the Royal Fashion Show is trying to undercut Rarity? Huh? By continuing on in Canterlot and not moving the whole affair here? <laughs> Have you? Huh? I, uh, no. <laughs> hmm, just I, uh, um, uh, like, uh. Oh, <laughs> inner strength. <laughs> Wait, did we learn a lesson or not? I... That was odd. That was a little odd. <laughs> I just saw Andrea was insufferable pony too. Good naming conventions here. That was weird. That was a pretty straightforward traditional sort of storyline. The resolution was kind of abrupt and not very closure-ish. We just laughed it off. Huh. Sure. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was episode 4, Fake It Till You Make It, and it felt like season 8 saying, alright, back to business as normal. It had a much more traditional plot and structure than the last few episodes, and the consequences were much smaller. It was very in line with the main six episodes we saw in season 7, generally fine, but not the highlights of the season. And the lesson was relatively familiar, but eight seasons in, you really have to go for nuance rather than novelty. Fluttershy's knowledge of fashion here seemed a bit lower than I would expect based on what we've seen in previous seasons, like that time she gave a verbal beatdown to Rarity and suited for success. But her character overall here was fine, and her characters were pretty fun. Though it got a little close with feeling redundant with the three characters we saw in Honest Apple, also, Fluttershy said both woke and lit, and it kind of makes me wish I did not wear hearing protection when I was at the firing range today. This episode wasn't bad, and it didn't have the pacing issue of something like Fluttershy leans in, but I don't really think it'll have much lasting value. Sorry Flutters, I still love ya! Next week's episode is titled Granny's Gone Wild, so uh, I'll prepare myself. Until then, thank you for watching, and remember, Always stay woke.